Hello YouTubers and welcome to a video of my 180 gallon Red Sea Rifle Tank. I have been slacking so bad on uploading videos for quite some time and um, I think it's about time I get back to it and I'll definitely give you much more up to date um, events with regards to my tank and much more up to date changes with regards to my tank. I lost a whole bunch of fish about a month ago because I was out of the country. I was out in England and while I was gone for like a month, my ATO basically stopped working on me. And by the time I came back, the water had dipped to this level about this way. And because my eater is right down in the sump, the, the display tank was extremely cold. And because of that, I lost a whole bunch of fish. I basically lost everything, but that cycle all the way down there, who happens to be the purple tank that I've had for quite some time. He is the only one that actually survived this due to the mishap that happened um, and after that I basically decided to take some time out and try and get my tank back together and add some new fish into it and gradually I've been replenishing uh, my stock. This is a Red Sea Reefer 850 G2 850 that I've had for about two years now. I got this off some dude brand new uh, due to the fact that it had a little chip in there. I fixed that chip that it is in the refugium rather i fixed the chip and i've had it for two years no issues whatsoever the best investments i've made in a long while and uh, right now i do have about 10 or 11 fish in there i have one of my favorite fish ever the spotted dog fish which was the second fish i got after which was the first fish i got after i had the tank crash on me basically losing all the fish i had and then right now, I just recently added the Tomini tank and a selfie tank. But it's the other kind of selfie tank, um, griddled, griddled selfie, selfie tank, which I've had for quite some time, which I've had for like three days now. It's doing well, but I had to put that mirror over there so that way my psycho purple tank will let that selfie tank alone so far so good everything looks good i've got five chromosis in here i've got that clownfish in there i've got this yellow chorus ras in here i got the tormenta tank and i got the great old selfie tank in there i really love that selfie tank because of the fact that once it blows once it expands its it's dorsal fin and all that it comes with all this circle around it which looks beautiful which is not like the normal selfie tanks that you see everywhere. That was one of the reasons why I wanted one and I've been trying to get one for for years. And finally, I was able to get one about three days ago. I did the normal acclimatization period of dipping them in the water for quite some time and then let them in. I haven't lost any fish since I started doing that actually. And I'm, you will see all the algae in here and that is because I add some Cheeto down in my sump and um, I have this light in here which was which would come on every night at 12 p.m. 12 a.m. rather and then run all the way to 6 a.m. and that basically helped in I don't want to say help because that was, a, that was something negative it boosted the algae output in the tank and most of it end up, ended up coming into the display tank and right now I'm just trying to get rid of all that so that way I can get clean sand. One thing I will be, one of the fish I will be getting as well will be a sand, sift, sand sifting goby so that way you can get the tank, the sand properly clean for me and I also will be getting some more sand as well because it's not as deep as I want it to be. It kind of looks shallow but I do need to get some more sand in here to balance that out um so far so good it's been going really really great i retained the light from 
from the whole tank that I used to have and I bought this other night crew light to add to this to kind of give it a much better um, outlay and also better spread as well so that way every angle nook and cranny of my tank is um, covered when it comes to lighting um, so far so good it's been going great I'm gradually getting back into getting the tank back to where it needs to get to and um, I do hope that I don't get none of these mistakes anymore and then um, hopefully I don't get to lose any more fish this purple tank like I did say is still it's basically fighting with its own image right there um, across the mirror over yeah across the mirror uh, so that it will get to leave the other fish in here alone because it's the only one like I did say that this survived the tank crash and it basically acts like yeah because I survived the trash the crash no one else needs to come in here but nobody this is a big tank and you will let <laughs> to let other people come in but thank you once again for coming in and taking a look at my tank again I hope to give you much more videos much more updated videos as I add more fish and over time I intend to add corals to it anonymous and all that um, I did add oh they knocked it over I did add an Hollywood stunner in here but someone did knock it over and I suspect it's him but I will be getting that back up and making sure it's well secured to the rocks so no one gets to knock it over again but thank you once again for taking a look at my tank and um, over time I intend to definitely post more videos peace